A St. Catharines woman is devastated after her dog died of an opioid overdose less than 24 hours after visiting a local park. The woman says her dog must have stepped on or sniffed the legal drugs and wants other pet owners to be aware. Kelly Botello has the details. Last Friday, Joanne Hubley decided on a change of scenery for her daily walk with her seven-year-old dog, Samson. They went to the Glenridge Quarry next to Brock University. But hours later, Hubley noticed Samson acting strangely. Has he had a stroke? Has he had a seizure? Is there vomit over there? She immediately took him to an emergency vet clinic. Initially, workers at the veterinarian clinic thought that Samson may have ingested some sort of cannabis product. So she went home and continued to monitor her dog. But hours later, things got worse. He had his muzzle on, so I didn't know how it would be possible that he could ingest a butt or could ingest the weed. Back again at the clinic, Hubley says Samson's urine was tested for drugs. It's come back positive. And it's not positive for THC, it's positive for opioids. I had asked, does this mean it was Percocet, was this? And she said, no, it would be more like fentanyl and or heroin. The vet administered naloxone four times to try to save the dog from overdosing, but nothing worked. Hubley says within hours, her sweet dog was brain dead and had to be euthanized. A complete tragedy. A complete tragedy. Hubley says the only thing that she did differently that day was bring Samson to this park. The vet clinic says, unfortunately, they have seen these kinds of overdoses before. <coughs> oh, I know. The incident has dog walker Jesse Disher shocked and worried. I actually carry naloxone with me um, just in case I ever came across somebody who might need it. Never imagined that I could actually have to use this on a dog. Good girl. I've got 62 clients and that's 62 people who trust me with their dogs and I have a young son as well and it's just terrifying to think that that could have happened to another dog. One of my clients could happen to my son. Who Hubley says she was told Samson likely inhaled the drug or stepped on drug paraphernalia. She reported the incident to police. Hubley says the bull mastiff was a rescue and now by spreading his story she hopes he can save other pets. Samson's death doesn't need to be in vain that he's now going to be rescuing someone else. Kelly Botello, CHCH News.